Ciao ragazzi, I'm Roberta Fast Evangelist and welcome to a new episode of Wine Pairing. Ciao Nelson. Welcome back. How are you today? So far, so good. It's going to be better in a few seconds. Today we are pairing the wine with one of our best-seller dish, which is crab and chili ravioli. We have served with really nice lemon butter, some fire, and then a little bit of crunch with just a bit of pan grattato. Nelson, should we taste it? Let's go. Let's go for it. Mmm, that's really good. So, the wine that we're pairing today is a seafood dish. So this is a really complex dish. There are many things going on. Mm. And especially, I think that one of the features is there's a bit of, yeah, there's a bit of hotness that goes there. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's do two approaches. The, both wines, they will need to go well with the pasta. So there's not gonna be like a, cut off approach so the creaminess and the sort of like the, the seafood character needs to be balanced with the pasta but we're gonna go for two completely different approaches regarding to the chili so we're going to start with some bubbles fantastic yeah so I don't know how many of you uh, have ever drunk a Francia Corta before so we are in uh, the province of Brescia 70 kilometers from Milan so in here this is basically the premium uh, one of the most famous oh. premium area for sparkling so the wines here are made exactly in the same way as champagne. So the wine first ferments and then is put it in the bottle and then some yeast uh, are added. So it ferments again inside this bottle. So Okay, and then uh, you're going to have a, an, an amazing product uh, like... Uh, so we cannot call it uh, Prosecco or Champagne? No, because Prosecco is made in a completely different way. There we go. And Just. also completely different region. Correct? Exactly, which is in Veneto. So let me pour it for you. I noticed, Nelson, that so if I open any bubble, Prosecco, Champagne, anything, yeah. I will just, boom, pop the... Yeah, meat. no, uh, exactly. No, in a restaurant, uh, <laughs> you don't do that. You don't really do that. I mean, you should not do it even at home. Uh, well, if you want to, is actually is one of the most beautiful sounds in exactly, the world. Exactly, yeah, sometimes it's just for <laughs> the sound. I would say, you know? exactly. So, um, what is the idea here? Uh, the idea is that we need to find a way to balance that chili inside all that lemony yeah. buttery. So, uh, please, uh, have a glass with me. Why not? Exactly. So, um, <laughs> Salute. <laughs> you can feel that the wine has, first of all, is really citrusy, you know, like lemon, mm -hmm. uh, lime. Yeah, correct. Yeah, and at the same time, you can feel the creaminess. The creaminess, it basically comes here because of the time that the wine spends on the lees of the yeast. And this one spends four years, so this wine has been staying put for four years, and this is that creaminess that gave, you know, the match with the buttery part. That's so, really yeah, let's have a go. Oh, I did already. I can't wait. Uh, yeah, it tastes really amazing. Yeah, my favorite thing about this wine, specifically this wine, so we're drinking Bella Vista Gran Cuve Alma Brut. Uh, actually, funny story, in his uh, 2006 book, uh, World Greatest Estate, the most famous uh, oh, really? wine critic of the world, Robert Parker, talks about champagne and says that uh, there are few places in the world that reach the same complexity, but he mentions only one estate, which is Bella Vista. So that's uh, good for us, I guess. Hey, absolutely. Um, absolutely. And my favorite thing about the Gran Cove Alma Brut is that I like the perlage, so the, the bubbles itself. So if you drink it, try to keep the wine uh, in your palate for a bit, and you oh, will feel okay, that then. the bubbles are actually dancing on your tongue, and it's absolutely great. I love Thank it. You. So that's amazing. Thank you so much. And what about the price and where I can find these? Uh, so, these um, this goes out pretty fast. Oh, so, okay. yeah, but uh, the guys, popular, yeah. yeah, it's really, funnily enough, uh, in the UK, French Court is getting to be really popular. Okay. So, drink it as much as you can before it goes out. <laughs> <laughs> you will find this one around the 40 pound mark is imported by Liberty Wines. So the guys are great. So you will find it in many, many restaurants and retails. 
fantastic thank you so much and i believe we got now another one yeah uh, so that you wanted to uh, just uh, you know pair with these uh, uh, amazing ravioli yeah so if the sparkling idea was to counteract the chili and just turn it down i just want to embrace it now and see what uh -huh, happens okay. again as i said everything comes down to the alcohol so we're drinking a more alcoholic wine so we're around 14 percent alcohol uh, so this is uh, a verdicchio de castelli di iesi oh, nice. uh, yeah so it's uh, unknown from col di corte it's actually recently uh, now found his way in the uk uh, so 2020 we're drinking now let me actually pour your glass and where we are in Italy, so, this wine. Here we are in Marche. So imagine oh. Tuscany, but do a mirror image into yes. the Adriatic Sea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. an um, amazing region. And Thank you for so me, much. I don't know why, this is a, a really a wine that is not drunk as much as we should. Um, the best thing is that Verdicchio, as a grape, is capable basically of uh, copying specific wines. So sometimes it can be a Chardonnay from Burgundy or a Chablis, or sometimes it can be, I don't know, a Marsan Roussin from the Rhone. And sometimes actually it tasted like some uh, steel Chardonnay from uh, Champagne as well. Let's so, try. first thing, okay, here there's a flavor yeah, no. that, uh, you know, people have been arguing for a long, a long time, and is, is, we call it minerality. So it smells of it rocks. Smells really amazing, yeah. yeah? So you can tell oh, that... Uh, rocks. Yeah, okay, it smells see. of rocks. So I don't know if you ever actually, uh, you know, smelled rocks, but I will truly suggest you do it <laughs> and, you, and you will get an idea. This is what we do. Sometimes we go and we smell rocks. I'm not joking. Um, let's taste it. Yeah, let's go for it. So can you feel mm. that, you know, the wine is bigger. The, the mm. weight of the wine is way, way bigger than before. And actually the chili comes a bit more, but uh, somehow stops and gets and dances with the wine itself in your palate. So, but still what I'm interested in is it to preserve the butteriness of the Absolutely. dish. Absolutely. And actually the goal would be that sometimes a great pairing brings the flavor back in your palate and I can feel a lot of the crab that yes. keeps on going. So if, if the food was already, you know, staying for a long time on your palate now is twice the time. That's really amazing. And also, what is the price and where I found these? So uh, this one, this uh, as I said, is recently found its way into the UK, is imported by the guys at Indigo Wines. You will find it around retail for the around the 25, 30 pounds. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So it's the uh, bubble that has uh, a little bit more premium yeah. price yeah. compared to the other, but still very nice and fresh uh, to pair with these uh, amazing ravioli. Fantastico. Oh, cheers. Salute. <laughs> Nelson, thank you for coming today. Thank, thank you. Thank you for this amazing recommendation. Don't forget, guys, stay on the channel for more episodes. Thank you so much. Ciao, ragazzi.